my lieutenant governor actually worked on the na a national environmental group, a regional one. Uh, she was the vice chair of it, and they have answers for that. They talk about the maximum daily load. I will put her in charge of that part. Um, and, and she can do it, and we can find ways to do it uh, within uh, the, uh, the budgets that we have. Uh, they had a lot of suggestions that were not incorporated by the EPA. Um, so I think there are ways we can meet that. Um, I believe we should go, as, as I said, the environment's very sensitive to me. It wasn't just the, the, the wind turbines at Greenberry Point. I also was the lead sponsor of Energy Net Meeting for municipalities, which passed a few years ago, and for the, the nonprofits, and as ways to be able to get credits to be able to put towards renewable energy. My bill is the main reason Chris Field's been able to, to go in that direction, one of the poorest areas, and that was directly a result of my bill. We proved that they had enough wind down there to do it. And things. So it, environmental things are, are important to me, but I try to look for free market answers. This is another example, the stormwater management fee, of with a shrinking private sector tax base, and I say shrinking, you could say we have just as many jobs as when the recession started. Well, guess what? Our budget has grown by how much? you know, 10 billion. We have so many other needs going on and the private sector has not grown. We're not going to get there if we keep the private sector the way it is. I want us to go after the environmental things that we know we can achieve first. So I began a year ago, and no one else was talking about Conowingo Dam, and I know that's not stormwater management, but I want to go after what we can fix. To dredge that area costs money. Our federal government is working, put a lot of money towards the Everglades, to the Great Lakes, we need it done here. I need to be able to build coalitions, and I think I can, not only with our state senators and congressmen, but with other states who feel it's important to solve the Chesapeake Bay, and that includes Pennsylvania and New York on it. Conowingo Dam is considered now at capacity. I used to say almost, at, now it's at capacity. When we had Hurricane Lee, it set us back 20 years on the sediment, the phosphorus. You're destroying the bay right there. Uh, the phosphorus, the nitrates, it, it was huge. I mean, the aerial views of what happened. Now, I'm not, I'm not talking about the rivers yet. I'm just talking about the bay. Let's, let's concentrate on that. We need to dredge that out because it doesn't take a Hurricane Lee anymore. It takes a minor storm. And that's the main thing if that's hurting the oysters, the crab population, all the way down. Um, so we really have to concentrate on that. We need to get the federal government involved, and they're helping this. And I think we need to put, we're putting so much to the environment now, we need to redirect our resources, our, our, our financial dollars towards that also, and uh, get help. So just to be clear, would you seek, would you keep or seek to eliminate the stormwater management requirement? I think at this point, I would, re I would seek to eliminate it uh, because I think we need to take care of those things. I can point to the robbing of uh, you know, the flush fund and it used for other things, and why didn't the environmental groups come out and protest that? You know, you need that. Uh, if that's supposed to go towards uh, our sewage treatment plants and things, you know, let's let's put it towards that uh, and and not take it from that. So there are things we can do to help our environment, and I'll be looking for all those answers. But right now, on top of all the tax increases, the private sector not growing, and the public sector growing by quite a bit. Well, you can't put something like this on the back of businesses. You frustrate growth. And if you frustrate growth, you do not increase our tax base. So as a business person, I see how we've got to increase the tax base to be able to, to do these things. So I say let's take care of first what we can take care of.